Hey, Chad Carter here with LearnHowLens.com and ChadCarter.net. And this week, I'm going to show you how to actually deploy a HowLens app game demo experience from Unity uh, to the HowLens. Or I'm actually going to show you how to deploy to the HowLens emulator. And I'll show you the difference to deploy to the device itself. So let's go and get started. Um, what I've done here so far is brought in the Hall Toolkit. And so in last week's video, I actually went through and showed how to pull in the Hall Toolkit and the different ways to do that. Uh, so if you missed that, go ahead and check uh, that video uh, because that gets us up to uh, this point right here. So our, what we're trying to do now is turn around and deploy this to the HoloLens. So I'm going to go over here to uh, File and say uh, Build Settings. And again, you want to make sure that you're set to Windows Store and the SDK is Windows uh, Universal 10. And the target device can be any device or it can be the HoloLens. Either one's fine. And um, I'll go ahead and always select U Unity C Sharp Projects as well. And add open scene, which in this case here is main. I also want to make sure my player settings are set uh, with any of the capability settings I want. And so I can come over here and set them here, or I could come up to the Hollow Toolkit and configure and apply capability settings there as well. So notice, notice that like microphone's not selected here, uh, but I can select you know microphone and spatial perception if I wanted to and hit apply. And you'll see it actually just check the boxes here. So whichever way you want to go about uh, applying those, it's fine. If you're using you know, the internet, then you want to make sure you have uh, internet client uh, selected. And uh, so, yeah, so that's all we have to do in order to get this ready to deploy. If you have a paid version of Unity, you can actually turn off the splash screen or you can customize it uh, different, uh, different ways. Uh, in this case here, we're good to go. So I'm going to just hit build. It's going to ask me where do I want to build this. So I'm going to say a new folder. I'm going to call it UWP. Now I could have called that folder store, app, really anything I wanted it to. Uh, this is basically, it's creating a Visual Studio solution, which is different from the one if you just try to edit a C Sharp file inside of Unity, uh, you'll notice that when in the play button inside Visual Studio, it will say attached to Unity. The one we're building now, it's a totally different solution and it's being built this way because in order to deploy a Windows Store app, so here it is, in order to deploy a, a Windows Store app, and we'll open up this solution file. So in order to open up a, or in order to deploy a Windows Store app, we have to have like a security certificate, an SSL certificate, uh, as you'll see here, this WSA test certificate, for example. And there's just different requirements that a, in that package file. So when we, when we told it that we were using the microphone, for example, that's up here in the package app, AppX manifest. And if we go over to capabilities, you'll see microphone selected. So these are all things that uh, Windows Store apps need. And instead of Unity trying to build out an app package itself, it just builds out the Visual Studio solution. And then we use the Visual Studio solution to actually deploy to the HoloLens. So the very first thing you want to do is change this, the architecture from ARM to x86 because the HoloLens itself is a 32-bit device. You then want to change it from local machine to one of three options. You can say remote machine, at which point it's going to ask you for an IP address. And you can type in the IP address of your HoloLens. So you turn your HoloLens on and you type in your IP address. So that's one option. Okay. The other option is instead of doing remote machine, you can say device. And what the way that works is your HoloLens is plugged into your computer via USB. So you take your HoloLens, you put your USB plug in, and you plug into your computer, and it'll just deploy to the device via USB. And that's faster than going through Wi-Fi through the remote device. 
uh, but you have to be you know close to your to your machine right then. So that's how you would get it on the Hololens device itself, is remote machine or device. We're actually going to go down here to Hololens emulator, and we're going to deploy it to the Hololens emulator. Now, when you're just testing things out and you're trying to see if things are going to work well, you can leave this to debug, um, and that will build faster. If you're getting to the point that you're trying to test performance and you want to know how well it's going to actually work on the Hololens, you actually want to change this from debug to master. Now, when you do this, and when you change that, I want you to change back to like local machine, and you'll have to go and change it back to where whatever you were deploying to originally. But you want to select master because it actually goes removes all the debug information. It takes a whole lot longer to compile and link it all together, uh, but you get the best performance by doing that. So let's go ahead and go to uh, build and say deploy solution. And this is going to build it, and it's going to go ahead and deploy it to the emulator itself. So it's built. Now it's deploying, so it automatically brings up the emulator. And again, all this assumes that you actually have the right tools installed. And as I mentioned in last week's video, over at uh, chadcar.net, I actually have... So you can get there by going to chd.me or chancar.net and the ultimate Holland's resource list. If you go down to the how-tos, you'll see how to install the tools. And this will take you to uh, this page right here, developermicrosoft.com, um, Windows Mixed Reality, install the tools. And you just want to make sure that you have uh, these tools installed. And this will actually install the emulator itself. All right, so it has been deployed, and now that's been deployed, we'll come over here and click on the uh, plus sign, and we'll go find our little sample app here. And when we do this, we get our made Unity scene, and then our cube should be right in front of us, and it is. And so that's all it takes to actually deploy a, an app, a Unity app, to the hall ends. So hopefully this was beneficial. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know. And hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video.